Good morning, folks. You know, this thing right here don't fit my hand real good, but sometimes I got to do yard work. But because, see, I think that my woman was listening to, to Elmer's wife, and she's kind of trying to compete with her or something. She demanded me to get some stuff done around here before I go back fishing. Okay. But, um, you know, that's life. We're going to do what we got to do to survive. But um, this trip right here, I want to apologize for the wind, the, the march up. March winds, I tell you what, they will blow you all over the river. And it's uh, kind of tough videos to make. But I wanted to uh, tell y'all how I found this area and areas like them. And I believe I can do it on any lake in the United States. Now, I'm pretty confident that I got a few things unlocked right here. Now, when the water temperature reaches, the surface temperature reaches around 50 to 55, in my opinion, I believe that the biggest crappie in the lake, for the, for the most part, come in real shallow. Okay real shallow and what they're doing is looking and searching out places to bed and usually these are you better fish and uh, these are pre-spawned crappie now I'm going to categorize them as pre-spawned staging crappie and these are the fish that I've been catching for the last couple weeks now this particular area that I'm fishing is a long area it has stump flats it has uh, hydrilla and millfoil patches. It has uh, treetops laying over in anywhere from four to eight feet of water. These are areas that I look for. And I've had a lot of comments and questions, you know, a lot of direct questions. How do you find these fish, these early fish? It's real simple. I'll take a good quality jig, like a four by four crappie jig head. I love to use these. And I did in this video here in these hand tab ones that Mr. Perry, he sent me these right here. And I'm, I got some use for these. Them are pretty colors and they work real well under certain conditions. Mr. Perry from Texas. I've been working with these two jigs right here and having a lot of success. But how do you find these early fish? What do you do? Well, to start with, when you find them, uh, you may not catch but two or three in an area, and that's it. Or maybe just one or two. But they'll normally be quality. You might go several, several yards, 20 yards, without repeating the same thing again. They're scattered. They're real scattered. But what I do is I'll tie on a jig, and I'm just going to let it out right now. I fish extremely quick. Not too quick, but I cover a lot of water. If I don't have bluegill or striped bass or any kind of a fish hitting in that area that I'm fishing, I go on. The areas that I catch the crappie always have bluegill. That peck peck, you're missing them all the time. Every once in a while you'll catch them. These areas are prime feeding areas. Once I find an area like that where I'm missing a lot of small fish, I know I'm in an area that has cropping. Now we're talking about 50 to 55 degree water temps on the surface. So I cover a lot of water. That's why I find these fish in peculiar areas. I don't waste time. Either the crappie are going to be there or they're not. Okay, when I find an area like that where I'm getting a lot of bites from bluegill, see, bluegill and crappie are panfish. They have basically the same habits, if you'll stop and think about it. But when I start getting these bites, now I'm looking for structure. I mean cover. Excuse me. I'm looking for stumps, scattered mill full. Now, we're talking about Gunnersville Lake now. Uh docks, areas that's in from five to eight feet of water, that's the ones that I focus my efforts on the most. 
and sometimes up in two foot of water. Later on, when the, when the water temperature reaches about 62 to 65 degrees, I believe that crappie are at their full blast spawning ritual. This is when you can really load the boat up with them. You, it'd be every cast when you find a good place. No problem, every cast. But usually, not always, but usually these are the medium-sized crappie. You see, here in the south, crappie, uh, if he lives over, if that species lives, lives over five years, I do a lot of reading and research, he's lucky. They have a short lifespan. That's why they feed heavily all the time. They reproduce like rabbits. If your spot or areas that you know, honey holes, is covered up with boats, simply leave and start fishing other areas. Rocks, docks, flats with stumps. This is a good one. I know four areas on Gunnersville Lake where there's high spots or humps. And the top of those humps comes in five foot of water, comes up to five foot of water, and they're just full of stumps out in open water. Big white crappie get on these stumps. Places where you wouldn't even think they'd be. Hey, crappie are everywhere. Our lakes and rivers are full of them. But I hope y'all enjoy the video. Go fishing with me today and let's see what we're talking about in here. On it. Where's my flow down there? That's why. <laughs> First fish of the day. I couldn't keep my focus on my doggone float. I'm tell how long that crappie had that bait in his mouth. That is a crappie. I can tell by them head shakes he's doing. Them lunges. Short little lunges. There we go. Look here. I don't worry. Plumb down. Plumb down. Get back here. Where do you think you're going? What's wrong with you? You're caught. You're caught. Give it up. Pretty fish. Pretty fish. Wow. Look at there. Look at there. Caught him on a hand tied jig. Old Goldie. I'm going to call it Goldie. Made by Mr. Perry from Texas. I love fishing them jigs. I really do. Beautiful fish. Let's let him go. Get back in there. What I'm doing today is just fishing with a float. I'm anchored down right here in front of the treetop and making a cast. And I'm letting the wind blow my jig. That's enough action, which I've mentioned before. Enough movement to get the strike. Hey, there it goes. Uh, that one's got some power. A lot of power. Let me stand up here and deal with him. He didn't want to move. There's some mules in this treetop right here. This is the second video. I usually don't go to a plate. Well, I'm not going to say that. I move around a whole lot. From Gunnersville, Weiss, Neely Henry. But they some mules in here now. Here's another one. Come on in here. Easy, 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 easy. Easy. Hey, hey, hey. Quit. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. What? Hey. What are you doing? You're caught. I believe you just splashed. Come here. See what I'm talking about. Mules. Quit. Don't hurt yourself. I'm going to let you go. Let me get my pliers out of my back pocket. I'm prepared today a little bit better. Let's get that hook out of there. Oh, Goldie. I'll 
tell you, it's getting worse. It's my favorite color right here. Yeah, let me, there we go. Now, is that not beautiful? That is a beautiful fish. Let's let him go. God, man. Get on back in there. Catching crappie. That's my favorite fish to catch, no doubt. Once you get the depth exactly right, you got it made. Depth. It's all about how deep they are, in my opinion. But we're going to mess around here and catch another. There we go. Oh, man, now that fish hit it once, turned it loose, and then grabbed it again. He didn't, he didn't want to commit unless, come here, open your mouth, unless his buddy did that, was right with him or something. I don't know what happened, or a bluegill pecked it before he got it. I don't really know. I thought it was a false alarm. Nice fish. Let's let him go. Goodbye. Go on. Join your buddies. I had to change to a different color. They didn't want to hit that gold any longer. So I changed. I'm always changing. Colors constantly. Yep. Golly day. Oh, me, 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 me. Whew. Oh, my goodness. Something else. There ain't nothing like it. He's splashing water all over us. Good gracious, what a fish. And there's probably around 14 inches, I guess. It's a good fish. Turn him back right here. It's like that right there, and he's gonna, what's he gonna do? He left. There we go. Y'all probably seen that thump on this high vis line. Maybe he did. He thumped. Where is he going, though? That's a hard-pulling fish right there. I've got a little, pretty stiff little rod right here. Come on. Right? I know you're mad, but I can't help it. I can't do anything about that. Come here, boy. Golly, woo. Got you the first time. That's unusual. Let's get you off right here. you off <laughs> he's hooked good there ain't no sliding when you got a four by four I like them I, I can't stand to lose fish <laughs> never could but get in there I like to release them though darn let's throw back out there and catch us another one just a slow Golly. Where's he going? They all want to go up the creek. Up the river. Look here. Whew. My goodness. Eating it up. Come here, boy. Don't say ah. Come here. 
say y'all. That's not a boy. That's a female black crappie. I can tell she's full of eggs. Let's let her go. Let's let her do her job. My goodness. I, if y'all was me, would you throw back out there again? There we go. Gone that fish thumped that. I mean, he thumped that doggone jig thump. White crappie. Come on in here, you pretty thing. <laughs> I love it. God, I love it. Look at there, what a crappie. Oh, they're all pretty. I'm after a big daddy. Always. But that's a dang good fish anywhere. I don't care where you go in the country. That's a good one. Let's let him go. Yeah. Where's your grandpapa? Thump. Come on, see. Coming straight to the boat. Straight to the boat. What are you doing, crappie? <laughs> Golly. Come here. Wow. Oh, he's hooked good. Good one. Golly, bum old ball headed Elmer. I don't know what's wrong with that old guy right there. There he goes back. That's the way to do it. There we go. Oh. That's a crappie. Guarantee you. Let me stay out of my hole here. Whew. Cutting up, ain't you, rascal? Come in here. Doing that bass head shake. There's another good one. So let him go right here. Get on back in there, boy. Howdy, folks. Hey, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I want to give a special shout out to Brandon Moore of Altoony, Alabama. Now, he was a little boy that came up to me and said that he loved to watch me. And um, it tickled him to death and all that. And I, hey, I was catching shiners and Brandon, catch you a big one next time. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! You're like, Look. Don't fix it when you get out of here! When you can't fuck!